So here we are, Russ Douglas 222, another one video from the British Shooting Show 2022. Thanks for watching. And here we have on the Sportsman Gun Centre stand, we have Donny FL. Hey. hey, how's it going, everyone? Not bad. And gives away, <laughs> yeah, how are you like, Yolanda? So, what do you want to tell us about Donny? So, you know, right now the, the big talk is, is the fat boy right here. Uh, it's just been on display and we've been getting so many hits. You know, people coming up asking why I need such a big suppressor here. But you really don't, like, uh, uh, like if you're shooting like uh, 12 foot pounds or, or lower, you really don't need this. But, but we're finding that the customers who are shooting 12 foot pounds are buying everything, like buying the extender and the muzzle brake just because of the looks of it. And well, me, me being an FAC shooter, yeah. I would guess that as you turn the power up, the extra volume is going to help, yeah? Oh yeah, you know, air guns, I always tell guys that air guns is all about volume. So the more volume you add to it, the quieter it's going to get. Right. So what have you, can you show us what you've got here then? So if I, if I do a little close up, yep. I was just asking Donnie just here, I've heard of the extender tube and the muzzle brake, and I can see the muzzle brake, but I was asking, Where's the extender tube? But go on, yep. explain to yeah, us. Yeah, so this is the extender tube that, that screws onto the back of the Fat Boy. But, you know, so the Fat Boy is really only four and a quarter inch long. And by adding three inches, we're at seven inches. So it's, it's going to be quieter than a Ronin due to the volume. Right. But, you know, this thing is more universal where you can change the caliber sizes, uh, whereas the Ronin can't. Yes. Uh, where's the case? There's the case yeah. there to show the... So for those who are not aware, if I have you got the inserts at the in the end? Yep. Oh, all right, here we go. There right, we go. so here's a box, and so with each Donny FL Fat Boy that fits in here, we have 177 stroke 22, 22 stroke 25, yep. which is obviously which is fitted, on the gun right now. Right, and 25 stroke 3.30. Now. The first time I saw this, I was like, oh, so it's not caliber specific as in to the millimeter or to the point one of a millimeter. No. But it, that's not, doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but, you know, by going one caliber size up, it, you're not going to hear that much of a difference in sound. Right. But it does help, you know, especially guns that has shrouds. Yeah. It, hel it helps reduce the chance of pellet clipping. Right. Okay. So there's a slight clearance. Yeah. You've got a half mil clearance each side for the pellet. Exactly. Brilliant. So one of the questions that I got today is like, they're they're, they're shooting a two two. So should they put on the one seven seven two two um, insert, or do they put on the two 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 five? Good question. Good point. Yeah. So it all depends on their gun. If it's a straight screw onto the barrel where there's no shroud, then I then I use the one seven seven two two. Right. But if it has a um, shroud, then I'd be play safe by going two 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 five. Right. So, and if you if you're liking some of the FX, is like the Wildcat. If the barrel ends a few inches before the yeah. muzzle, yeah. then you go one size up just to get the extra clearance. Yeah. That's Brilliant. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, so once again, so we have a half inch UNF thread here, and then there's the extension tube, and. Then there's a standard Fat Boy 2.0, yeah. and then we have the muzzle brake. Yeah. So what what effect does the muzzle brake have? So we call it a muzzle brake, but in air guns, it's more of an additional air stripper, you know. Right. Um, we we learned that you know once the pellet leaves the suppressor, it, it's a big quick burst of air, you know. Right. And that air can affect the turbulence of, of, of the pellet. So by having an additional air stripper externally, mm -hmm. it'll strip as much more uh, air as much as possible to increase the accuracy. Right, okay. And that's one thing I should show you, is that these caliber specific, they really are shaped like air strippers. So that screws in from the muzzle yeah. inwards, and then it strips away the air as the pellet leaves through the hole. So I'll just put that in there. So there we have three different caliber specific inserts and you've heard it from the man himself which one to use um, and so the total length of that with the air stripper sorry the the extension tube the fat boy 2.0 so and about, the muzzle brake yeah this is about seven inches by itself and then you add another like two inches so right. like total nine, nine inches so that that whole thing's nine inches and the bulk of that is the seven inches for the for the suppression yeah um, and then there's the air stripper effect of the of the muzzle brake and the, the insert. And you, you did mention as well that you also have the Emperor, which is an even bigger volume. Yeah, the, 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 you know, for the high power like guns in the US, guys yeah. are just power hungry. Yes. Uh, the Emperor is, is needed for some of some, some of the stuff that they shoot. So brilliant. Okay. Yeah. But for um, for the UK market, I, I think most of the guys are 
this setup would be enough for, for their shooting. Right, okay. Brilliant. Well, so thanks, thanks very much. Thank you, Russ. Great. And I uh, <laughs> hope you enjoy the show. Will do. You too. Cheers. Cheers. And uh, thanks for watching. More coming soon.